The OECD member nations endorsed the policy-making principles, as did the business and technical advisory committees. The Civil so Society Advisory Committee could not endorse the entire document due to its concern with provisions relating to online protection of intellectual property. However, everyone supported the plank encouraging multi-stakeholder cooperation in policy development processes. So, with these advancements in the last month in Singapore and Paris, where do we go next? More importantly, what's the call of action for all of you? First and foremost, do not take the OECD principles as the end of the work. Really, it's just the beginning. Reaching an agreement on the OECD language was a challenge, but our history with the member states and ideological similarities gave us confidence that we would eventually reach consensus. However, some other nations, many with less experience with the multi-stakeholder model, may be inclined instead to support treaty-based structures for internet governance. It's our job to advocate for this model, the model of the multi-stakeholder model, and highlight how this process can better protect their national interests. The United States is most assuredly opposed to establishing a governance structure for the internet that would be managed and controlled by nation states. Such a structure could lead to the imposition of heavy-handed and economically misguided regulation and the loss of flexibility that the current system allows today, all of which would jeopardize the growth and innovation we have enjoyed these past years. 